Brandon, how are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Good, thank you. Hey, what, uh, just first of all, what does it mean for you to, to and, and, you know, to be at this point now playing four wins away from the chance to get to the World Series? Uh, it's incredible. I, to, to be here with uh, the group of guys that we have, man, it's, it's been one heck of a year, and, you know, we're really excited to get these games started. And a lot of guys have talked about how this team has something special, this camaraderie. I mean, can, can you define it? You're a college guy. Can you explain this for us? I mean, the word I kind of always go back to is just family. You know, every, everybody in this clubhouse, uh, no matter if they've been here for four years or, you know, they just got traded over this spring, you know, each, each and every one of us feels like, you know, that's our brother at the plate or on the mound. And, uh, we do anything to help that guy, uh, help anyone in that clubhouse succeed. And, and just a quick follow up to that: Is that unique to the Rays? You think, or something that you you get through the or coming up through the organization as you did, or how is that so different? Uh, you know, I think uh, it's it's it is certainly something special. But you know, I think we had it throughout the minor leagues, everywhere that I was at. I think you know, everybody wanted everyone to do well, and I think that's just kind of carried up through the Rays and, you know, they've done a good job of, you know, putting a good team together. Brandon, you kind of, you, you've talked about kind of the loss of game five last year, how you guys just kind of looked around and said, okay, we're going to be back here. What do you think about this challenge of, against a team that did eliminate you guys last year? I, it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing, you know, they're, they're a really good team and they're, just they're another team on the way. You know, we we have bigger plans in the ALCS, and you know we have to we're gonna have to go through another good team to get to where we want to go. Brandon, what was that? What was that moment like on Friday? I think it is uh, when Brasso hit that home run off of, of Chapman. Ah uh, man, it was it's it's really hard to hard to describe and uh, you know put it into words. It, it was one of, if not my favorite moment that I've had in baseball. You know, I know Cash said it, a few other guys have probably said it too, but I mean, it was, it was definitely something special to see a guy, you know, that's had to go through what Brasso has had to do and shine on so, as, as big of stage as he has been. Mike, what's the greatest, uh, Brandon, what's the greatest challenge in facing a team that you haven't, I know you faced this team last year, but you really haven't seen a lot of the pitchers since most of them were not on the roster last year. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to go down to, you know, doing our homework and, you know, going through scouting reports and trying to understand what their guys have, what's in their rotation, what they're going to do and try to get us out and, you know, do all this, get, gather all that information, and then uh, ex execute a plan. Hey, Brandon, I know we, we obviously saw the numbers. You've had a tough run to this point. What has it meant to you, the support that you've gotten, cash keeping you in the lineup? And what, what do you see as the key to getting getting things going? Uh, yeah, to, to say that I struggled might not be doing it justice. Um, it, it was it was nice to look around the clubhouse. I mean, no no one questioned anything that I was going through. You know, everyone had my back. They had nothing but encouraging things to say. And um, something like that, it won't happen again. You know, I'm any doing anything possible. I, that that kind of offensive performance won't happen. And just one of those things. It's a combination of how they're pitching you and you being a little bit off, maybe. Yeah, it's just. You know, it, the numbers speak for themselves. I, you know, I was, I didn't get any hits. I didn't do very well. So, you know, it's a testament to how good the team was that, you know, I really didn't contribute a whole lot offensively. And, you know, they, they kind of hooked me to the trailer and pulled me through it. So, I, uh, I'm hoping to definitely pay them back for, you know, helping pulling me through that, that series. Brandon, is it one of those things where you, you look, kind of look at this as a brand new series? You're zero for you know zero for zero. Like, how do you kind of approach that? Absolutely. I think uh, going into each series, you know, it, it's I'm starting over. You know, it doesn't matter what I did last series. It didn't matter 
you know, what I, what I did against Toronto, against the Yankees. You know, it's a brand new staff, it's a brand new, pretty much a brand new season. You know, it's a seven game season. You know, we got to go out there, we got to take care of business, and uh, focusing on what happened in the previous series is not going to help us, help, uh, especially not help me. Brandon, looking specifically at your numbers against fastballs, I mean, you torched that pitch during the regular season. Is it is it a timing thing right now, or, or what's your feel up there, especially with that pitch? I think I was just, you know, in between on a lot of things. I wasn't on go. I wasn't, you know, expecting to hit. I wasn't, you know, there were a lot of things going through my head, especially uh, getting out there to fight. But, you know, I've been uh, a change of focus right now where I'm, I'm ready to go. Thanks. Anything else for Brandon? Uh, one, one quick one. Brandon, what is it like to face a club that you have not seen in a year? Because no matter what, you always see somebody during the regular season. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely going to be weird uh, thinking that we haven't faced the Astros since last year in the, in the divisional series. So, I mean, it, it's – Mainly, it's going to be you no. Know, we haven't seen their pitching. We don't. We we haven't had any experience in in that aspect. But you know, it's it's kind of just like a fresh start in the season where you're facing them for the first time. You know, we got to. It's it's going to be a, an adjustment to that we have to do off the field so we're ready to you know play well on the field. Every, everyone always talks, Brandon, about how the hitter's at a disadvantage when he hasn't seen a pitcher. Is there anything to a pitcher knowing something about facing a guy for years? That's a good question. I think that would be better suited for a pitcher. <laughs> um, I, uh, <laughs> fortunately, I don't know that I'd ever be on the mound, so I can't really answer that question too well. Um, but there's, on the other side of it, definitely for a hitter being able to face a pitcher multiple times, it definitely makes him feel more comfortable. So, you know, you just got to get that kind of repetition and video and, you know, get your work uh, beforehand. Thanks, man. Randy, could I ask a quick question if that's okay? Um, just, uh, I mean, and you've had a few celebrations already. I mean, with the division title and, and obviously a few rounds in the playoffs already. Do, do you miss like the champagne and beer in the clubhouse or do you like uh, kind of the new ways you guys have come up with to celebrate? Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the champagne burn is definitely something uh, that can't be replaced. You know, I, I didn't think I'd miss it after last year, but you know, it's definitely, definitely something that that is missed. But you know, right now it's a, an adjustment to what 2020 is. You know, we we found our ways to enjoy it, and you know, we're going to keep enjoying it. You know, whether it's confetti or you know, dance offs or whatever it is, you know, we're going to have fun. Thank you. What would it what would it take for you to get in the circle with uh, Rosarena or Phillips? I don't. I don't need to get embarrassed that much, you know. I, I've seen those two dance, and they, they're they're leaps and bounds above me. So I'm just gonna sit there. I'm gonna cheer them both on. And I guess Madison would agree if we were asked her. Yeah, she she would probably just walk out of the interview, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if she'd claim me if I had had a dance paddle. 